All right, guys. Let's get into today's video. Today's video, we are going to be talking about the Dogtra Pathfinder SE. Now, if you guys have watched my videos, I have talked a little bit about having hunting dogs and things like that. I do have two Basset hounds, uh, training them to be good rabbit dogs. I um, actually have time set up in a pin coming up this weekend i'm going to get that video rolling out for you guys too um but i wanted to talk about the the doctor pathfinder now this is the first time that i have personally uh tracked dogs with the doctor product um i did reach out to outdoor uh dog supply and gun dog supply to see if they were willing to sponsor one of my videos that did not end up happening unfortunately but uh nevertheless i purchased this um i got the add a collar got two add a collars so i have a three dog tracking capability um i was very surprised by this product now that being said i, I have ran garments in the past and nothing beats being able to locate your dog or know where your dog is at at all times especially if you're a houndsman and you get out in the woods and you cut your dogs loose uh coon hunting definitely is a pain in the neck um when you're training when you are you know cutting your dogs loose somewhere in some woods that you're not familiar with or an area that you're not familiar with it is a must must have to be able to track those dogs and relocate your dogs or call them back. Now, one of the features of the SE that was really surprising that I really liked as much is that it runs off of your cell phone. Now, with that being said, running off of your cell phone and your cell phone uh, Google Maps, everybody is so familiar with Google Maps. You know, we use it every day, our GPSs, all these things. Um, so it is very user friendly. That is one thing that I will hands down tell you that this beats Garmin hands down on, uh, usability. Okay. Um, this also comes with the geofence feature. Um, there, there's two downfalls to this that I would say, but at the same time, you can't expect it to do everything, but, um, the collars themselves. Okay, they have um, tone, they have nick and constant. So that is um, stimulation. Uh, one thing that I really wish that these had because just from the collars that I use at home myself, outside of these collars, my dogs are vibration broke. So I do not have that ability to vibrate them with these collars, but tone is just the same my dogs are tone broke and vibration broke i prefer the vibration over the tone but you know at the end of the day this is a great product and uh really happy with my purchase um the other the second thing that i really wish that they would do on this is have an option to auto stimulate your dog for leaving the geo fence now that being said it is still completely workable it notifies you i was very surprised um for the for the um app to be able to actually pronounce my dog's names i have uh, gypsy and django and it will tell me gypsy geofence out G gypsy geofence in or django geofence out geofence in now django is probably a harder name that uh an app would have to pronounce but it got it right and it does well um, one thing that happens to me here is my collars, these collars will not send a signal to my GPS receiver, um, from inside my house, um, that I'm, I live in a trailer, so everything's metal. I, I fully understand it, but I can take those collars outside and it will start sending a signal to my GPS and I can track my dogs outside from inside but while they are inside i cannot because of the 
reception, I would guess that the interference that the trailer gives. Now, going into this SE, um, this is really a good product. Um, they have anything and everything that you would want in a tracking device for your dogs. They offer pretty much everything that Garmin offers. I haven't noticed or put too much um, contrast here between the Garmin product and the Dogstra product. I did on an older model um, Garmin, so I didn't I didn't have the shock ability. I didn't have the tone ability. I didn't have any of that ability on the Garmin that I ran. Uh, that was quite a few years ago. But this is expandable. You can run up to 21 dogs on this. Now, that is a good thing for me, especially, you know, I'm running a three-dog setup here. I also have a little house dog that's not a hunting dog that I can purchase the mini collar, and I can track her as well. Um, now, I've had this out in the field a few times, and I'm still getting used to this product, but I have had it out, and I'm going to continue using this product. I really like the accuracy. Now, that is one thing. This thing is dead-on good. Um, it may jumble up just a little bit here or there, um, but once it catches up, you know, two second up, two and a half second update rate, I believe that it is. Um, these collars transmit your dog is displayed on your screen, right on the app. Let me get this out of here. Right on the app, and it, it will notify you how many feet, how many yards. Um, it tracks where they have ran. Um, there's ability to record your hunt. There, there's kind of just endless little things that you can do with this. The new collars have LED lights on them, so you can turn those on and off through the app. Um, now, for those of you that have not seen these products or are not aware of these products, um, Doctor sent you this this case, this portable carry case. Now, this is contains my uh, GPS receiver, contains my vest. Um, to carry the GPS receiver and also one dog collar in here with instructions. Now, on the inside of this case, like I said, I come with the, the dog trail. There we go. Have the dog trail. I guess this would be like kind of like a fanny pack, but for your chest, <laughs> I, I guess. Uh, you know, I throw this on here like this it around here it's kind of like a holster for your uh, deal clips in has uh, uh, the pocket to hold your receiver also has a pocket to hold a, a phone or anything else that you might be able to carry and it has a zipper pocket that you can carry things in now like I would carry in here um, bullets or carried in here like my coon squalor things like that now with this um, this is very handy, especially, um, with the unit, okay, so then you come with the, the dog tree, um, unit here, the Bluetooth receiver, and it comes with a nice dog tree lander on it, so you can wear it around your neck, or in the pocket, I run, I do wear this, and I do run my device right in here, just like so so this is how I run this will be on the outside of my coat or whatever it's always right there not gonna lose it not gonna do anything like like that um, comes with a oops, comes with a Pathfinder book tells you how to do all your setups in here and now on the inside of this case this is a very nice case exceptionally well got the foam holds everything in there for you got my collar got my uh, my parts and my tools right here in this bag and the charger unit now let's take a look at these collars these are really nice collars now compared to what I was running on the BC 40 collars I believe is what I ran these are beefy and these these are stout collars, you guys. They really are. Um, I do 
I do. I, I really like how durable that these collars feel. Um, now I haven't had a chance to check out any of the new Garmin collars, like the TT15s or anything like that. I know a lot of guys run those. Um, the antenna on this, I mean, it's the same as all GPS collars. They're extremely, you know, kind of in the way there, but it seems to be very durable and it holds up and it tracks very well. I've had minimal um, interference. Like I said, the only place I got, I've gotten interference or inability to receive or for these collars to transmit to my um, device here is inside my house and uh, it's a trailer home so it is difficult to get any signal in here outside of that anyway. Now my Basset Hounds, these fit my Basset Hounds just fine. I was kind of concerned that maybe I should have purchased the minis for those uh, for those guys but these work fine they fit their necks just fine now I do see where the problem could come in maybe not fitting a beagle so a mini would definitely be a better option for a, a beagle or a smaller size dog because these will not fit on my uh, my little house dog um, but with that being said I, I don't need to track her much I just thought it would be nice to be able to do that um, downfall to these collars is there's no vibrate I would absolutely be in love with this collar if it had a vibrate option. I mean with the lights and the stimulation and the nick and the adjustability and you can do the update rates on these. You can, you know, you ain't got really about your dog tearing this thing up. And it just seems really nice. And I love the fact that I can run it off my phone. Now with that being said, um, when I purchased this unit, I, I was under the impression that it, they would come with the new cat phones. Um, this bundle did not come with a cat phone. I was kind of discouraged about that. But at the end of the day, it runs off my my personal cell phone um, flawlessly. It runs completely fine. So that's another deal that is, you know, good to have. You always have your phone on you. You, you, you know, always have your phone with you. Um, I know it's hard to keep track of your handhelds when you're running Garmin's or running other GPS devices. Keeping track of those handhelds can be a, a time, and if you lose that thing, oh, you know, I did have an instance for what I'm going to do now. I did have an instance I was in the woods, and I did have my phone out, and I was tracking my dogs on my cell phone, and I, somewhere along the way, I, I dropped my cell phone. <laughs> I missed my pocket, so I had to backtrack and pick up my cell phone. But I'm going to remedy that because I'm going to take an old cell phone and just carry it in here at all times. That way I don't have to rely on my personal cell phone because if I, when you, I don't want to lose that or I always have a backup cell phone with me. So that way you have two handhelds. And, and that's another great thing about this is the app. You just download the app on any cell phone device that will support it and you can run these run this GPS and run this collar and you obviously have to have um, a Bluetooth connection to the uh, device there um, so that was what's in the Doctor SE box on this now like I said I've had this out and I, I'm really happy with it and I'm going to be running more dogs. I'm hopefully I'm going to be obtaining some coon dogs or a coon dog to hunt with this as well. Now, going from this not having a tracking ability to having the trackability, not only a trackability, but the trainability that this offers you, the, the control of your dog that you, you have with, with the GPS is... Um, far not bar none because um, back in the day we used to train dogs and we didn't have shot collars we didn't have a GPS we didn't have any of that and it was solely you, your dog better come when it's called or you're chasing it through the woods all night or all day um, or your dog better have a mouth on it because if, if, if your dogs run off and they're not barking you don't know where your dogs at and you have you're lost you're lost your dog you've lost anything and everything any way to find that dog if that dog is not barking so if you guys have quiet dogs or dogs that don't bark much and you like to go in the woods and do things like that this will prevent you from losing your dog and that's number one uh, 
prior to theirs. Don't lose your dog. And okay, so the, the back of the add a collar, um, a different collar color. Okay, um, same deal. Everything's just the same as the orange one except for the collar color. Now, all the dog's names and everything in the app is programmable. So when you turn this collar on, it'll have your dog's name and you put this collar on that dog or you can do it color-wise, however you want to do that. Now, in, in this box, it just comes a little charger and your little toolkit there and this little pamphlet telling you how to run this deal. And, uh, now, and the price point of this is you, can, you really cannot beat this, and especially compared to a Garmin product. Now, you can download offline maps. You can run offline. You don't have to have service to run Dogtra. You don't have to purchase maps um, in Garmin. You have to buy Topo maps or Bird's Eye maps and things like that. And it does cost cost money and you get those cards shipped and, and to your device and things of that nature. So this cuts all that right out. Um, I know when I first purchased my Garmin, um, it was difficult for me because I didn't have a map. And I wasn't even aware that I needed maps until after I received the device and I just get a blank screen and my dog's tracking and I'm like, oh, I thought I could have a map on this. But either way, I would show you guys my app, but I'm using my cell phone to record this. Maybe I'll do another update video or a, a second video to this going over the map in detail. I'll have my dogs out and I'll have them being tracked and I can show you guys all the, the neat features that dogs are offers. Now, with this bundle, costed me um i want to say 900 and like 65 dollars and that shipped to my house um and that's a three dog system now if you only want to want run a one dog system it's only like 650 bucks now compare that to the cheapest garmin out is a um i believe the alpha 10 um system and for a two dog system of that it is a thousand so and that is on a deal um it, it may be 1200 um i'll definitely have to check that out but i'll put some links down in here to get i don't want to give you guys wrong information it's either a thousand or twelve hundred dollars for two dogs set up on the alpha 10 um which is a mini system with bare bones stuff there's no map on it there's no anything like that so Dogtra, definitely happy with this purchase. Um, I would recommend this to anybody, anybody who wants to step into GPS tracking your, your hounds or your dogs. Um, this has a nine mile range, just like Garmin. 21, multiple dog capability, just like the Garmin's. This has offline maps. It's got the tracking only mode, which is your compass and tells you which direction each dog is. Um, and like I said, it's a Nick consistent and uh, tone, um, which is completely fine with me because my dogs are tone broke as well as being vibration broke. And also they, they enjoy their shot collars. And that's another thing too. I don't want people to get the wrong idea about shot collars either. Because if you train your dogs properly and you do not abuse your dogs with shot collars, um, dogs very much enjoy the shot collar because they understand that um, they get the ability, the distance ability. And this is talking just house dogs, not only hound dogs, but they, they have an ability to a uh, line of communication with you over a long distance. And they know that even though they're way out there four or 500 yards, a thousand yards in the woods, they know that this collar this collar is not beeping. It's not telling me I'm doing something wrong. So the dog can have confidence, continue on doing what it's doing, working that track, running that line, um, hitting that tree, doing all these things. Because as soon as the dog is trained and it knows, if I hear that beep, then it's time to come back. It, um, I'm doing something he doesn't like. Uh, I want to come back and check in. And, I mean, I, I, I do know people that, really misuse their shot collars which is unfortunate um but to each their own but i believe that using the shot collar 
the same way that you would use a leash. You know, you tug the leash just a little bit, get your dog to go the other direction. Same kind of idea and concept behind the shock collars. And for those of people who don't agree with hounding with dogs and things like that, or people who get upset with dogs in the yard and things like that, um, this is a way that everybody is able to retrieve their dogs, and that is to prevent their dogs from going onto your property. That is to, you know, call dogs back who have went onto your property, and this is to lo prevent losing dogs and dogs. You know, I've seen dogs um, come out of the woods after being lost two weeks, and they're just starved, emaciated. Um, they show up on people's porches all the time. You see them posted all, all the time. Dogs that are lost, you know, they suffer greatly. The, this prevents that, and you know, I'm a supporter of that. And um, I, I, so I support being able to, you know, keep track of your animals and keep your dogs in good health and, and raise your dogs well and things like that. Um, so definitely Dogs for Pathfinder is a big plus in my book. I really wish I would have been able to get um, a sponsorship behind this. Um, that would have been nice. It would have saved me like a thousand bucks. But yeah, not everybody gets that. Not one of your YouTube channels as small as mine. But yeah, the Dogs for Pathfinder, uh, very good deal here. Um, like I said, it's got a nine mile range, offline maps, two second GPS update rate, tracking only mode, geo fence option, expandable to 21 dogs, a beacon light, mixed consistent simulation and audible tone. And here's the little cat phone that you can get. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see that, and I, I believe it's backwards. I'm sorry for that, but this is the Dogs for Pathfinder SE, and you can hook it up to a watch as well. Now, with that being said, I think I'm going to go more in the direction, since this is what I'm doing these days. I, I know I've posted videos in the past that, you know, I'm going to be all over the place doing this, doing that, and this is going to be part of that. Um, I have dogs going to the pen. This Sunday, I'm going to try to record that, and hopefully, fingers crossed, my dogs do good, and they run a couple rabbits, and I can get some on film and things like that, and they will be running these dog truck collars so I don't lose my dogs. And, uh, you know, thanks for stopping by my channel, and I hope you guys like this review I have of the dog truck Pathfinder uh, SE. If there's anything else you guys want to know, just ask me a question down in um, the comments there. Or if there's anything I got wrong, don't don't be scared. Get in there, tell me how uh, full of you know what I am. But <laughs> you know these things ain't cheap, and I like to really like to keep my things well taken care of. So this this case this case is a big big friend of mine, and you know as I see I have all my original boxes, and I'm gonna keep on to these, and uh, maybe. Depending on how many coon dogs I get, or if I only get one, it doesn't matter. I'm going to probably expand and get more collars. That way I have more dog capabilities. I'm going to be looking into possibly training dogs for people um, on hunting and things like that. Um, it's kind of in the works. I'm trying to set this framework up and get things rolling here. But hopefully you guys will come back and check out the content that I have coming up soon or hope I don't forget to do that video. I know I don't post a lot. I work third shift and busy all day. So uh, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.